Steve Hanaberry has been on magazine covers and he starred on a hit TV show after moving to California almost 40 years ago. Our Lance Allen reminisces with a Waterford native as he returns to the Badger State this weekend. Some hits are going to happen. Bodies will be flying and some blood will be shed. Steve Hanaberry is an American gladiator, but we started off as old friends. Every time I come back, you know, my folks have WTMJ on the, on the, on the um, you know, on their television. So I, I kind of like feel like I know you as well. That's because Hanaberry went to Waterford High School. We live in a little town called North Cape off of I-45, our uh, State Highway 45, and uh, grew up there my entire life on a farm. Hanaberry is best known as Tower on one of the biggest shows of the 90s. His audition, memorable. All I see is people this high. I says, I'm this high. And I says, and I said, I want to be the tower of power. And all of a sudden they get this look in her face. And they go, OK, you go over here. <laughs> His first day on set, even more memorable, coming off a cover appearance on Muscle and Fitness magazine and meeting the iconic Arnold Schwarzenegger on set. I was the cover picture and, Ar and Arnold was down in the corner um, advertising Total Recall. And he looked at me, he goes, oh, you're that big guy from the magazine. He goes, you look good. He goes, come to my dressing room. He goes, let's talk. Now I'm thinking to myself, Arnold wants to talk to me. They need me on set. And I says, can I get back to you when I get done filming? He goes, oh, go, go. So the whole time I'm out there, my very first day, I'm thinking about, I got to go meet with Arnold after this. Hanaberry is still in phenomenal shape. You're 61 years old. You still look like you're pretty yoked up. You got a flex for us? Oh, yeah. So this is a concealed carry state. Do you have holsters for those things or what, what's going on? <laughs> I got permits, yes. Now he returns to Milwaukee and the Midwest Gaming Classic this weekend, still telling fans 30 years later that he's undefeated in his signature event, the Joust. He who hits first will always win. And, you know, I always came up real quick with an undercut, sending them back and then coming down with a slash to finish them off. I never lost, never was knocked off the platform. Tower will combat convention goers in Johann Sebastian Joust, a no graphics, digitally enabled playground game. In real life, he's undefeated and I wouldn't mess with him. America's largest retro gaming event is at the Baird Center, April 5th through the 7th. Lance Allen, DMJ4 Sports.